I'm Stacy, and this is the For Bricks and Giggles YouTube channel. I have been a BrickLink seller for over six years now. It's something I really enjoy doing because I have an extreme interest in Lego elements. So I've been making a list for a long time now, which is Lego elements that look generic, that were actually more on the valuable side, more on the rare side, that Lego put in maybe one or two sets, and then a decade or decades later brought it back and decimated the resale value. So these parts were rare or exclusive. Now they really don't have the resale value they used to. I hope that makes sense. I'm gonna have a hard time naming this video, but I'm very much a nerd about Lego elements and Lego colors. So this is just one way that I kind of express that is by researching parts and making lists of all different types of parts for different reasons. And like I said, I've been doing this for over six years now. So I have a bunch of the most weird and random lists you could imagine and I've been really excited to do this video. I've just been waiting until I had at least 10 pieces that kind of fit into that category. So first up we have the little minifigure barrel part 2489 but specifically in the color black. This piece was exclusively found in the 1990 space shuttle set 1682 and there were three included in the set. So one set from 1990 and that's it. And then Lego brought it back in 2020. So 30 years later, Lego finally brought this piece back. And now it's been in six additional sets since 1990, between 2020 and 2024, so seven sets total. So now that barrel really doesn't have the value it used to. Used to be able to sell it for probably a couple dollars a piece, but I've seen them as low as 38 cents on BrickLink in the US. Next up, we have a one by two brick that is modified and it has a channel running through it, part 4216, but specifically in the color yellow. I actually have the original set this piece came in right above my head here. So it originally came out in 1981 in the Public Works Center. That's set 6383 and you actually got 24 of them in this set. It was exclusive to the set in yellow from 1981 until it was finally re-released in another set in 2021. So 40 years later before they brought that piece back in that color. So one release with that piece in 2021 and one release in 2022. Again, absolutely decimating the resale value as it is no longer exclusive. I had actually gotten a partial of the Public Works Center a few years ago and was selling those one by two bricks off for probably $5 a piece. And now you can get them for as cheap as 37 cents on BrickLink in the US. Next up, we have the eight by eight dish with solid studs in the color black. And that's part number 3961. This one wasn't quite as rare. It was released in three sets between 1988 and 1991. And then they waited until 2011 to release it in another set. And then another decade to release it in a few sets between 2022 and 2023. This one I just found interesting because I had personal experience with this piece. I had gotten a few of them in some bulk lots over the years and I was able to sell them for $25 a piece. But once they re-released them in 2022, the value went down significantly. I had recently been parting together the Megacore Magnetizer and I needed one for that set, but I had sold all of the ones that were in my inventory. So I was really dreading rebuying it until I had found out they had re-released the piece. So a part that I had once sold probably five of for $25 a piece, I was able to rebuy for only $3.50. And even today, the cheapest one on BrickLink at the moment in the US is only $2.40. So about 90% cheaper than I had previously been able to sell that piece for. Which of course, if you're parting sets together is good for you, but if you're a seller, definitely going to be taking a hit on profit. Next up, we have a six by six umbrella, part 4094 in translucent purple. This umbrella piece in translucent purple was exclusive to a Belleville set. The Royal Summer Palace set 7582 from 2007. And I had actually just parted this set together in the last couple of years and was in need of that translucent purple umbrella. And shortly after I had purchased it, they re-released that piece in a friend set in 2023. I think you could also get it on Pick a Brick, which I think is how I initially realized they had re-released the part. So only two sets, one in 2007 and one in 2023. I don't think it's done a ton to the resale value because that's still only one additional set after about 15 years, but I just always find it fun 
fun when they bring parts back after such a long time. So right now, the cheapest one you can get on BrickLink in the US is a dollar and four cents. I think when I was parting the set together, I paid about two dollars or so for it, so not a huge amount, but still interesting. Next up, we have the wand or lightsaber piece, the four length bar, part number 30374, but in dark bluish gray. This piece was actually released in a bunch of sets between 2004 and 2008. Maybe a bunch isn't the right word. It was still less than 10, but several sets during that time, mostly Harry Potter and Star Wars. So license themes, which made this piece expensive. It's also a very tiny piece, a part that's easily broken or can go missing. And so then after 2008, they didn't release it in another set until 2021. So I've always been on the lookout, obviously, for Star Wars or Harry Potter sets when I am parting out bulk lots because those pieces tend to go for a little bit more. And so I used to be very excited when I'd find one of those dark bluish gray wands. I could probably get four or five dollars for those, but now they've re-released that piece in more than a dozen sets since 2021. One of which is the Eiffel Tower, which contains 152 of them. So they do still contain value at this point, but I would say at least 50% of the value is gone. And I think the value will only continue to downturn as we go from here since there have been so many sets with this piece. And I saw them for as little as seven cents on BrickLink in the US. I only have a couple of minifigure pieces on this list, but this one I just found interesting. This is the hair piece that was classically known for Bellatrix Lestrange. That's part number 92082 in the color black. Originally, it came out in one set in 2010, the burrow, set 4840, and that was it for the color black. When they redid the Bellatrix minifigure in 2020, they used the exact same hair piece. I found this interesting because after 10 years and with so many design changes for Lego, I would have expected a brand new hair piece, but they've actually continued using that hair piece for every variation of Bellatrix and randomly one video minifigure. So that piece used to be exclusive and for an exclusive minifigure, Bellatrix was not seen in any other sets around that time. So exclusive minifigure, exclusive hair piece from 2010, so now closing in on 15 years ago, used to definitely be a valuable minifigure and a valuable hair piece. I only found a couple of those during the time that it was exclusive, but I'm pretty sure when I was finding it, I was selling it for five, six, seven plus dollars, and now you can get it for just a dollar on BrickLink in the US. So definitely lost the majority of its value. Actually, quite a few of these might be Harry Potter, but that's just because I've gone through the set part list so many times, they've been the easiest for me to spot. Next up, we have a round one by one plate in the color sand green. That's part number 4073, and it was exclusively found in set 4733, the dueling club from 2002. I remember when I would find this piece, I could sell it for a couple of dollars, and they didn't bring it back until 2022, so 20 years later. Now I'm pretty sure you can get that piece on Pick a Brick for four cents. And it's been in over a dozen sets since its re-release in 2022. So that part is now pretty much worthless. <laughs> Next up, we have the tiniest white feather plume, part number 4502A. This piece was not exclusive, obviously, but it used to be incredibly valuable because they went such a long time without putting it in sets. It was in around a dozen sets between 1984 and 2001, and then they waited about a decade before they put it in any more sets. So they brought it back in 2012, and it's been in dozens of sets since then. When it was originally released in the 80s, 90s, and very early, 2000s. It was a part of a wheel with other feather plumes. Now you can get it as just a standalone feather for next to nothing. When it was originally released, those tiniest feather plumes would often go missing because they were so, so tiny. And so once you lost them, that was it. Now you can get them on Pick a Brick for seven cents a piece. And quite honestly, I would love it if they just released that feather plume or all feather plumes in every color on Pick a Brick. It might be mean, but I would be so ecstatic if they decimated the entire feather plume profit margin, especially the blue and the black feathers. Those are always crazy expensive. At one point I was trying to part together a forestman set and eventually gave up because I was not going to spend $40 on a single black feather plume. <laughs> 
<laughs> so Lego, if you're listening, and I, I really assume Lego is listening to all of my videos at this point, release the feather plumes in every color you can imagine. Okay, this is another kind of random one, and that is the banana, part number 33085, in the color tan. This was originally an exclusive color to Harry and the Hungarian Horntail, set 4767 from 2005. Two of them went on the dragon, and that was the only set you could get it in. 15 years later, in 2020, they released it in another set, and actually they've released it in a couple more since then. Any of the parts to the original Hungarian Horntail were super expensive, but now you can get that tan banana for as little as 35 cents in the US on Bricklink. This last one is also found in a Harry Potter set, but it looks super generic, and that's just a two by six brick in dark purple. Part number 2456. It was originally exclusive to the night bus, set 4755 from 2004. And I actually just sold some of these, which is how I realized this part was no longer exclusive. So again, after 15 years, they brought it back in 2019. And between 2019 and now, we've seen it in 10 additional sets. Even though this part was exclusive, exclusive for 15 years. It was never super valuable because you really only needed it if you were working on a mock or completing the night bus. So I think I was selling them for around a dollar maybe at the time, but now you can get them for as little as 11 cents on Bricklink in the US. So yeah, most of the value is gone. So again, these are the weird things that fascinate me is finding parts that look pretty generic, but usually hold some value until Lego re-releases them sometimes decades later. So I will probably start working on another list similar to this as I come across them. So let me know if this video interested you. I don't know if it's just because I'm a reseller that I find this interesting or if I would still be looking this kind of stuff up either way. So thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. And if you're interested in extra videos and content, check out the membership program starting at only 99 cents a month. There are already over 45 episodes available. See you all next time.